Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, this episode of my my blog, where I chat about random things that interest me at the moment. And uh, in this episode, I wanted to talk about America's love affair with spices and seasoning. I think number one, um, this is mostly things not to do. I'll have some ideas that like what you should do, but this is what the way what you shouldn't do. Don't buy one of these. Don't do it. It's garbage. It's it's not look. I don't really believe that this glass is doing a good enough job of preventing ultraviolet from um, ruining the freshness of the herbs, right? Ultraviolet is going to cause the chemical compounds in the, in the herbs to break down faster. They're not going to be as fragrant. This is supposedly oregano. It, it barely smells like oregano. It don't do it. Uh, now, why do I still have it if I'm so against these things? My father got it for me as a housewarming present before he passed away. So that's, uh, I don't know how long do I keep it? I don't know. Um, but I've kept it a little too, a little too long. Uh, these, these spices were mostly fine uh, when they came out of the box. And I guess I could keep it in a cabinet. I could take out a shelf maybe and keep it in the cabinet. That might be an idea. But I just don't like it. I, I don't, don't, don't keep your spices in clear glass. It should be in dark glass or in a cabinet so that like sunlight or just general light doesn't get to see it. Okay, number two. Buy your spices whole. Don't buy them ground up. It, it takes a few seconds to use a spice grinder and grind these up. And man, man, like even these old herbs that are far too old, when you grind these yourself, it's amazing. The smell is just amazing. But if now, now you, you probably look in your cabinet and if you're like most Americans, you have a bunch of premixes. You have, um, well, obviously first, a lot of Americans will have a chili powder and um, a lot of Americans will have maybe like a, a Mrs. Dash or like, I don't know, all, the, all these different uh, named places, right? Like Monterey seasoning or whatever. How can you buy those if you're trying to get your herbs whole? You can't. You just can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. But in the age of the internet, there is no reason that you can't be like, okay, I want a good steak blend. Oh, okay, I want a good... Um, I want an espresso coffee rub. What does that look like? What If I don't buy it pre-made, what does it look like? I just feel like the reason why Americans eat out so much is that we buy these wonder products in the spice aisle. Have you looked in your spice aisle? Why do we have so much space dedicated to different blends of the same stuff? Why? because we just keep throwing it away. We buy it, we cook with it. It doesn't taste like a restaurant. It doesn't taste amazing like that top end chef made something out of. And then you're thinking like, well, but that's expensive. Like, no, it's, it's, not, it's cheaper, it's cheaper. Go onto Google, search Indian store, Indian grocery store, Indian grocery store. Go to that Indian grocery store Buy it by the ounce, I guess. Um, and just buy enough for the next three months, six months. 
you're going to have a lot less waste. It's going to cost a lot less money. It doesn't take that much more time. Just, you know, that fancy name that makes you want to buy it, it makes me want to buy it too. Trust me. I, I still have, I have a couple different um, pre-made mixes. I just, don't, I just don't cook with them. I only cook with my stuff because my stuff tastes better. Um, take the money that you're spending on that and buy a high-end, easy um, salt and pepper grinder. Um, and then buy a good, like good black pepper and a good salt. Uh, buy a salt, a salt that you like. I like Himalayan salt. Um, I think it tastes subtly, like subtly different, but not really much. It's a lot of it's color. Um, the the black pepper though, I buy Tella Cherry black pepper. That's amazing. I mean, that's really good. And you can do a lot with just salt and pepper. You don't need to buy all of this. Now, um, I am going to be reviewing a click and grow herb thing. And I grew basil, parsley, and, and thyme. And for two and a half months, oh, my mom got the click and grow for me. And for two or three months, I've been enjoying fresh herbs. And just explosion of flavor and taste. Like it's just, now in, in hindsight, I wish I had not grown parsley and had instead grown sage. That's like my thing right now is sage and thyme. Um, but do fresh herbs if you can and um, don't, don't buy pre-mixed. And if, if, you, if you care about the money cost, buy the Indian herbs uh, well, the, I mean, they're just normal herbs, but they're from an Indian store or a store like that where they sell it to you by the ounce, where you just scoop it whole. And and don't buy too much. Just don't buy too much. I mean, like, plan a trip every three months. All right. So what else should you do? Well, I, I, like, I've given you a lot of advice on what not to do. What should you do? Um, let your spices bloom. Now, to let them bloom means to take your, your herbs and put them in oil before you uh, cook with them. If you're gonna use dried herbs, you wanna wake them up a little bit. And typically the way, now you can just like put in some oil, I guess 20 minutes, half an hour beforehand. That's not typically how I do it. What I do is, like uh, my taco meat, um, and I'll, I'll have a cooking video about that, but so what I do is I, I brown the meat, right? So I want the Maillard reaction to get it brown. Right? I don't want gray, gray meat. So I, I brown my, my ground beef and then I push it to the sides. And if I can, I'll tilt the pan to get some of the, the uh, meat fat, uh, the beef fat, to go into that opening that I've made. Sometimes, because a lot of times I get 93.7, there actually won't even be necessarily enough oil for what I'm trying to do. And in that case, I add a little bit of safflower oil right there, boom. And I let it get a little hot. And then I scoop my cumin, my fresh ground cumin. Wow, it starts smelling amazing. My cumin, my chili powder. Um, then I'll squirt some uh, tomato concentrate. And then once, once I feel like it's woken up, like it's fully, like it's caramelized a little bit, you can see it starts like, almost like frothing. It is so good. So like the flavor is just crazy. And then and then that, that like paste, that oil herb paste, I like, like swirl into the ground beef. Just thinking about it makes me want to make it tonight. We're going out to dinner tonight for, with friends, but um, I, I almost want two dinners. I just, it's amazing. Wake up your spices. So grind your own, wake up your spices, don't buy pre-mixes, which is obvious if you're, not, if you're grinding your own, and don't buy things like this with clear glass. I, I don't like this in general because I think it's too, too much quantity of spices, but if you were gonna buy one of these, buy one 
that has um, some sort of darker color uh, glass to protect the spices inside. And that's my uh, and that's my video. So uh, or that's this week's episode. So click like, click subscribe, and uh, cook on. <laughs>